married. Ernest Thorburn and his bride, Rosalind. Their honeymoon. Rosalind was finding it difficult to get used to being Mrs. Ernest Thorburn. At least he didn't look like a person who'd be called Ernest. The name suggested case, what did he look like? Well, when he was eating toast, he twitched his nose like a rabbit. But Ernest didn't remind Rosalind of the bunny rabbit she'd had as a child. She imagined he would be a rabbit called King Lapin a bold and determined hunter who ruled over the world of the rabbits. But who was the real Rosalind? If Ernest was to be King Lapin, then she would be Queen Lapinova. Her world would be a desolate, mysterious place. Their territories touched. And together they would be king and queen of the land of the rabbit. They were happy together. Rosalind became increasingly dependent on Lapinova. Two years passed. On the eve of their anniversary, Rosalind found the note that her mother-in-law had given to her on her wedding day. But she was not happy. No, not at all. Lapinova had faltered. Rosalind was losing her. The following day, when Ernest came home, he found Rosalind sitting alone in the dark. 